Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to install PyCharm and yeah, we're basically going to install it for beginners and that stuff who, well, don't know what ID to download for Python. So let's get started. And um, before we start, you need to have Python 3 installed. I will leave a card above if you want to watch one of my videos on how to install it. It's, the, it's a required thing. And yeah, um, once you're done watching that video, you're going to first um, open up your browser. Mine says Safari. Type in PyCharm in your search bar. And it should be the first one that pops up, PyCharm. And once you have it up, the front page should look something like this. And you tap download. Pretty simple. And this is the part that people get confused about. Some people install the professional version and then they don't know what to do on it. Well, I recommend you guys install the community version. I use the community version, okay? Many people use it. Prefer the professional version is for scientific and web, like Python development, basically professionals. You guys aren't professionals. And even I use the community version. So let's, we're gonna install that. And if you're on Mac, Probably gonna get this option. I don't know if you got on, on, on Windows. There's the Intel and Apple Silicon version. If you have an Apple Silicon Mac, you install this one. It will still work if you install Intel. You will just be at a disadvantage because it will be emulating it and your the performance won't be as good. It'll still be good, just not as good. You can tell by going to the Apple icon about this Mac and it'll say Intel. And um, yeah, it will say Apple Silicon if you have an Apple Silicon computer. For Windows, I don't think this matters. I don't even know if this pops up. If you, yeah, just pick the correct version and you tap download. Okay, and once you're done, um, you're just gonna basically go to your downloads. It shouldn't be that hard. You get it basically open. gonna tell you to install this I, I already have PyCharm installed so I'm not gonna install it a second time but yeah you just drag it in and once you um, have that installed you're basically gonna go to your app PyCharm and yeah you should see something like this the left side is all your projects. So you have some of these projects. I don't use PyCharm for like everything, but like, yeah, it's just some like Python projects. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do two buttons, create a new project or open a project. You guys are probably beginners. So you're probably gonna create a project, suspicion, and basically location. This is a directory where um, you, the project will be in. It'll create a folder, like in this directory. For me, I'm putting in my coding files and I'm going to call this, um, Python project. Actually, I recommend don't put a space dot. And um, basically, once you have Python installed, um, it will basically it, it will set it all up. See, it has access to my Python bin, Python 3.9. Make sure you have it installed before you do this. We don't really have to touch anything else. It should look something like this. All right, and like once you have it, you once you have the oh, once you create the project. See, um, you might be asking, uh, where do I type? Um, what you gonna do is you gonna right click, and then you're going to open up Python. You can make you gonna create a new Python file, and you can call this whatever you want. Python code, because why not? And there you're gonna type in all your Python code made some basic videos like that if statement video um i'll make more in the future but yeah that's basically how you set up pycharm and if you this is important if you want to go to terminal you're gonna go here and um yeah here's your terminal for this directory i'll make probably make a video in the future on how to use terminal for beginners but yeah that's basically it and yeah um that's how you set up pycharm um and if you guys please subscribe um like Less than 1% um, of my views are like subscribers. So please subscribe, be very useful, very helpful to support me. And don't forget to like 
And yeah, if you need help with anything, just go in the comment section. I will respond. Thank you for guys for watching this video and hope you guys have a nice day. Bye.